It's Eden time once again. We are playing Eden again. The win streaks at one. Pretty epic. Let's see what we got. Okay, Dead Onion. That's pretty epic. IV Bag. That's pretty epic. What else? We got 14 fire rate and three damage. That's not very epic. The Wiz. I'm not taking the Wiz. I am not. I'm not taking the Wiz. I'll take the. If, if I find something that might make the whiz work, I might take it, but as it stands now, I'm not taking the whiz. In, in fact, no, there's not much that'll even make the whiz work. So I'm not taking the whiz. The whiz is not a, a good item by any means. It's only good situationally. So, I mean, yeah, who wants a, who wants permanent, uh, are you a wizard? Not me. Bob's Rotten Head cannot even stand up to the power of IV Bag, so sorry. Let's see, oh god, oh lordy. That's just, that's just awesome. I have a feeling, ooh, ooh, that the secret room is down right here. Are you kidding me? What? Well, uh, all right, I'm. I'm just. I'm gonna be completely real. I don't understand. I don't get it. All right, the music. The music was a little loud. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't. I want to understand it. I don't. I don't know what just happened. And I don't think answers could help. Piercing and spectral is. I mean, mm, 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 piercing and spectral. That's what Dead Onion gives you. I don't know why anybody would pass up Dead Onion whenever it gives you Piercing Spectral Tears. That's just... Especially for a starting item, that's just amazing. I don't understand how anybody could be angry with Dead Onion. That's a great item. Alright, let's see this. Watch, I'll, I'll prove it right now. I'm gonna have... I'm going to kill these guys in record time. Did you see that? That was record time. Alright. Larry Jr. Larry Jr. is going to be very easy with Piercing Spectral Tears. I can tell you that right now. Watch. Just, just wait. Here we go. Yeah, here, no, here we go. Here we go. No, no. Go on. Go on. There we go. Watch. Did you see that? I did double the damage. I'm doing quintuple the damage. I shredded Larry Jr. Squeezy. Thank you, Squeezy. That's like, what, four? Minus five. All right, now we have a reasonable tier rate, and that's just awesome. All right, I don't have any keys. I'm gonna plague the good old IV bag, do the IV bag play, and make all of the money in the world. And I'll still have health. I'm not taking. I'm not taking the whiz. I. There might be someone out there saying, "Why doesn't he take the whiz?" That. No balls, you should take the whiz, anything like that. No, I'm not. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up finding tractor beam and wanting to commit suicide. So don't worry. I'll have my comeuppance. Any one of these days. Also, I just got completely destroyed by those two guys. That was sad. Yeah, so Squeezy just makes us so much better. We have an actual reasonable fire rate with Piercing Spectral Tears. Small Rock? No, we got a key though. I did have a severe need for a key, so thank you for that. The little noise these guys make whenever they die, it, it's, it's weird. They go, Aah! they sound like they're choking to death or something. It's kind of odd. I don't, this game's fucking weird. I mean, that's that's the last of the problems. We got little buttholes that shoot out wasps. You got a, a big a big blob with a cleft palate. You got living poops. Mulligans are just they're fucking mulligans. Mulligans are just weird on their own. This game's weird. All right, what do we got? Oh, the one item, the one item that I wanted. Look at that. It's at the first floor and we're already making we're already making plays. Alright, no, thank you. Bomb, please. Alright, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Oh yeah, sure. Sounds epic. Alright, uh I need a heart. Thank you. And then I'll uh I'll come back for all that stuff later. 
Champion's belt looks nice. Compass looks pretty nice. I mean, knowing where all my shits are going to be will be cool. Alright, well, that's a heart. Well, speak of the devil. Fanny Pack and Piggy Bank are two very awesome items to have with IV Bag. Fanny Pack gives you random pickups, and Piggy Bank gives you just coins. Both of those, they give you that whenever you take damage. And of course, Ivy Bag already, it, you take damage to get money with Ivy Bag. So it, it's just a match made in heaven. Pretty awesome. Oh lordy, stop it. Okay, oh, thank you. Stigmata, I'm taking Stigmata, you think I'm stupid? That's also an HP up. Okay, yeah, bomb it, I'll bomb. And you just completely proved me wrong. You make me regret even considering bombing the pots. That was just, mm, that was terrible. All right. We are on a hunt for Tinted Rocks. That is not Tinted Rocks. But you know what? You know, you know what? <laughs> you, okay, so this right here, it gives you hearts whenever you pick up money. Oh my god, already, we, we've all, oh my god, it's already happening, it's already happening, oh my god, that's the run, <laughs> that's the run everybody, there we go, we're done, we're finished, that's it, uh, everything's complete now, I'm gonna take champion's belt, I'm gonna take the compass, I'm gonna get infinite money, give me shop refresh, come on, you know you want to, that's not shop refresh, so I mean, there we go. That's it. That's everything. Everything I could have wanted. Alright, no bomb in the shop, which means our journeys here are over. We're just gonna take everything that's here for free. And just, you know, we're, we're just gonna roll with the punches, as they say. Pretty epic, not gonna lie. If I got a backpack and I had the, uh, the roll thing, that would be pretty cool, but oh well. All right, now I really wish I had bombs because there's. Oh wait, I have Ace of Clubs. I have Ace of Clubs. Oh, ho, ho, I'm gonna make some plays in a second. Oh my God, everything is going amazing. It's going perfect. I have infinite health now, thanks to Piggy Bank. I have infinite health. So I, the run's already been sealed. It's second floor, and the run is sealed. I got super bandaged. The run is really sealed. All right. Uh, sacrifice. I don't have any. Thing. I know. I don't want any of that. All right. So let's go. Let's do the Ace of Clubs play in here, where I just get a fuck ton of bombs. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right. That's good enough. Yeah, sure. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all those bombs. 40 coins and 12 bombs. And we got... Mystery Sack. Mystery Sack. Could this run be any better? I don't know if the run... It's second floor. And the run is already this good. What can I say except... Uh, fuck yeah, there's coupon. Very... Ooh, coupon. I'm gonna take the coupon. Pokey go, pokey go, bomb in the shop, all of that, all right. Give me something good, give me something good. Nope, nothing good, but there is a key and a soul heart. That's pretty awesome. You just gotta get lucky. You, you, you gotta start with IV bag and then find a bloody penny and then everything just falls into place. I mean, okay, whoops, didn't mean to do that. But uh, what, 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 what is there to say? This is not seated. Here's the seed, by the way. 6ARV LY86. That's the seed if you guys want to check this out because, I mean, who wouldn't want to check this out? Th this is amazing. All right, let's get the starter deck. Let's take the pill. It's a red pill. Haha, <laughs> funny, funny red pill. All right. Speed up. Awesome. Stars. Pretty awesome. All right, let's go find the super secret room now, or just the normal secret room, actually. Right here. Right here. Nope. Alright. Super secret room has got to be right here. Right. 
No. Here. No. Whew. Okay. I've got a whole lot of shit. I've got things to spare. Alright, up here, can there cannot... Okay, I'm gonna have a feeling. Secret room, yeah? Okay, you really gotta punish me for looking for secret rooms. I see how it is. Right there, can I go down there? Let's see. Oh, there's gotta be a secret room right here. It just has to be. What? Are you kidding? Alright, alright, alright. So, it has to be... No, not right there. Right here? Are you serious? Dang. Well, there's the bomb. We got we got our bombs paid back, at least. That's nice. Where'd the music go? The music's gone. I'm gonna go turn the music back on. Music's back. And it's Death Road to Canada music. An amazing soundtrack. Uh, just perfect. Pristine. Alright. Of course, we're going to the item room. That's another tiers up. And also, we got razors. Let's see. We got enemies. Oh, I bet you guys think you're real funny. And we also got another bomb. You, 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 that was a that was a stutter if I've ever heard one. You love to see it. Gotta turn the music down a little bit. You love to see it. You really do. Alright. Get out of here. You get out of here, too. I can take damage. I can afford to take damage. All I need is a restock box in the shop, and I will cause problems. Alright. Oh, wait. I didn't even... Uh, whatever. Too late. Can I do it here? Yes, I can. Oh, we got Lucky Rock. Lucky Rock is... It, it does some stuff. Whenever... It guarantees that breaking rocks will give you monies, right? Well, I've already got lots of monies guaranteed, so I don't really need the lucky rock, but it's nice to have. It's nice to see, you know? All right. Get you out of here. Get out of here. You too. Get out of here. What do you think you're doing? Get in my space. Get in my personal space. All right. All right. So. All right. So. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to... Do some of that. Get my, get my luck up. I'm gonna bring my luck up some. Bomb this. And okay, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get get the gift box. I want me a gift box. But first, there's no self sacrifice room. All right, I'm gonna go fight the boss. Now take the gift box and then try and get something nice. Oh god, it's pestilence, which means we get a meat cube. Do I want the meat cube? Sure, I'll take the meat cube. Meat cube is meat cube is nice. I, I'm, you're not. I don't think people. In, in my case, I'm not really angry to see the meat cube. I don't like second tier meat cube though. That's just kind of pointless. Third tier, but once you get to third tier, meat cube slash ball of bandages, then you're feeling good. So, it just depends. I'm gonna take this to. Do I want curse room pool or do I want secret room pool? That's the real question. I have a feeling. Ooh, ooh, that the secret room is up there. No, it's not up there. Or down there. Okay, well, my two best guesses are incorrect. Ooh, thank you. Thank you very much. We got a, we got a charmed vis. That's why I love Pokego. You, you can get, you can get a charmed vis that shoots brimstones for you. I mean, do I have to say more? Do I need to explain to you any more why Poke, Pokego is so worth it? People, people sleep on Pokego. All right, let's uh, let's get the secret rooms. Have got to be right there. No. Well, I mean, that was probably the worst guess I could have made. To be fair, but right here, I think I have a better chance of secret room. No. Well, I've got lots of choices. I'm just trying to decipher whether I want secret room or curse room pool. I'm gonna go curse room pool, and I got fucking gimpy. I mean, eh, gimpy means gimpy means that I'm just gonna get even more health from using the IV reg. So I'm not I'm not angry. It's just I know that if I would have went to the secret room, I would have probably waited. If I would have waited till secret room, I probably would have gotten better items. Let's see, we got the stars. Another stars card. Very nice. 
Yeah, we got, we gotta clear out the rest of this. Okay, my dead onion gears don't even fucking reach. That's just sad. That is just sad. I, I already I already secured the free win. I already secured the dub. Two of spades, that's six keys, and a strength card. I like strength. The dub has been secured already. I already have the infinite monies. So, even if I don't find shop refresh, the dub is still secured because, I mean, I'll just have so many good items. Maybe that's a good thing. I kind of want to try and do boss rush. Do I really want to try and do boss rush? I don't want Curse of the Tower. Are you kidding me? Hey, was Maybe it'll be a trapdoor. Well, not, it's, it's always a trap door. Maybe it'll be a crawl space, which it wasn't. It was not a crawl space. All right, do I want to stars out? No, I don't want to stars out. I just, no, I really don't want Curse of the Tower. Curse of the Tower will jeopardize everything. If I end up grabbing Curse of the Tower, everything is going to be ruined. So I don't want to do that. Curse of the Tower is not a good item. What do you know? Didn't, doesn't take a scholar. Doesn't take a scientist to realize that Curse of the Tower ruins everything. Didn't get any actual drops, that's sad. Oh well. Secret room's definitely right here. And we got free monies! Woohoo! And a key. I already have enough keys as it is. A charmed 1 tooth. Nice, thanks for the charmed 1 tooth game. Gobble up those. Psychic, headless, bodiless dudes. I don't like. I like. I was saying before, this game's weird as shit, and I don't understand how anybody could come to play this game, let alone myself. I don't know how I how I ended up playing this fucking game. All right, I'm gonna take Damon's tail just for the the effect. Please do the please do the thing. All right, I'm gonna have to do the thing in here. So here's what I do. I do a bunch of this right. And I, all right, well, okay, fuck. I do a bunch of this. I pull this out. I do a bunch of that. I'm okay. And then I come, I come through, come in, come out. Nope, it's not working. I need to have both of them at the same time for the thing to do the thing, which means I need to smelt it, or I need polydactyly or mom's purse. I think either one of those would do the effect that I so desire. Alright, these, these guys right here are little assholes. Oh god, I'm almost... I need to arm myself so I can get more health. Thank you. Isn't it ironic? Ironic. I did a terrible... I... No! no ironic. No, I can't, I can't do the fucking Palpatine voice. Oh well. Do it. I can do the do it. He doesn't. It's because he doesn't always sound completely fucking evil. Normal. He sounds normal, and then he pulls out his evil. No, no, no. Do it. That kind of, that kind of thing. All right. I, I don't know what's going on here. Let's pull one of those. Little chubby, little chubby school. I don't. I, personally, I don't really like little chubby. I prefer big chubby. But any chubby is a chubby that is worthwhile. I just gotta say, I've been, uh, uh, yeah, last night I ended up watching a whole bunch of Band Kid POV, uh, videos, what, for an explanation, basically, it's, okay, so, the, the very first one was POV, you're new to the school and I'm a Band Kid, and then he, uh, just, he was just really fucking cringe, and I'm gonna be honest, not just do I know a lot of people at my school that are just like that, it it, it it not just did it hit too close to home each one I'm, I'm stealing this from a comment on the video but it's just so true each one of those little lines he said was just a punch right to the gut honestly it was it just hurt it hurt so much oh my god he he, he comes in with the t pose he t poses he's like, sorry i was just asserting my dominance then he starts talking about <sighs> small potatoes and then how he's a big chungus and then then there's another one where a kid pretends to have autism I suppose that's the only way I can describe it he pretends that he has autism and it hurts alright here we go here we go this is what I'm talking about I'm about to prick myself on the thing 
and it's gonna be something. I, I, this is what I call the masochist run, where you just get everything from harming yourself. Okay, you feel blessed. Thank you, thank you. Another chest. Thank you, thank you. Give me the, give, give me the angel item, please. Alright, we're at number eight right now. Alright. Is this, yeah, this is number nine. We do not want to go past eleven. Eleven will teleport us straight to the dark room. And it'll ruin everything. We don't want that. We just want key pieces. Alright, key piece number one. Thank you. There's all the soul hearts. So then we have the Gabriel fight. And then after that, we don't touch that thing. We don't touch that thing one bit. We do not make contact with that motherfucker. At all. No, no contacts. There we go. I'm getting the angel deals now. I'm going the angel path like normal. I have almost always go angel route. Even though everybody's like, devil deals are better. I don't give a fuck. Angel deals are great. Angel deals are amazing. They do everything right. And especially if you have like a diplopia. Very awesome. Magician, I'll take Hank. No, actually, I'll take Magician. Magician and Strength is probably better. I don't really have the range for, uh, for homing tears to be that useful. And I'm still, I'll still keep it. Bombs, you know, since I got the bomb, I'll use one here. Nope. It's just whenever they have, like, the thing that directly connects to the wall, it's kind of hard to assume that it won't be a secret room. Alright, you really just survived that dark heart. Unbelievable. What is this? Temperance. Oh, shit. Time to make some cash. Please give me blood bag. Please give me blood bag. I repeat. Please give me blood bag. Please give me blood bag. Please. Please. Please give me blood bag. Give me fucking blood bag. Give it to me. It's not going to give me the item. Give me the item I want. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to pop this a few times. Because this fully heals you. Time to grab all of this free money. I got all the money in the world. And I have no pickup limit on. I, I have health cap on, but I do not have the pickup cap. Because I think the no pickup cap is cool. I think that the health cap is... It should, it should stay. Alright. Secret room? No, it's not there. I already know it's not there. But maybe secret room over here? No, and we got even more HP. Very epic. I'm just taking as much damage as I want. I, I, can, I can just take damage. It, it doesn't even matter anymore. I'm I'm effectively invincible. That's the point I'm getting at. Effect, I am effectively invincible. There is nothing anybody can do to stop me. Come on. No. Come on. No, I don't know. I, I, I just want to understand the uh, the psychology behind people being so just so fucking cringe, just unabashed, undeniable, full frontal assault, fucking cringe shit that you just you can't even you can't you can't handle it. They're, they they just managed to. Like, check every mark for just absolute undeniable cringe. I don't know how it happens. I don't know why. And I just... Is it lack of self-awareness? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm... Maybe I'm... I, I'm too fucking self-conscious to... I'm too self-conscious to even, like, put myself in a situation to be cringe. Maybe that's it. Who fucking knows? But I just, I don't understand it. Okay, BFFs is cool. I'm not taking the Bible. What do you think I am, a Christian? Ugh. Religion? Cringe. Alright. No, give me some, give me good items. No, that's the jar. I don't want the fucking jar. Who do you think I am? Why would I want the fucking jar? Oh, smelter, 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 smelt that. Thank you very much. And I'll take me one of those, and I'll take me one of those. There is no Damon's Tale, no. Oh, yeah, I got rid of the curse because of, um... I got rid of the curse because I, I played the spikes. All right, curse room. What's going on in here? We've got... We've got two of hearts. You know, I like me a two of hearts. 
Two of Hearts is pretty epic. Temperance. Oh, I really do like Temperance. You know how I like my Temperance. Oh my god, I just sure do love Temperance. Oh, there's another Blood Beck. It's terrible. I am... I have half Red Heart, half Soul Heart. That's what the point we're at now. It's ridiculous. And I have 80% Devil Chance and 100% Angel Chance. I don't know what this run is. As soon as I... As soon as I spawned in with Ivy Bag, I kind of just had the feeling that it was over. And you know what happened? It was over. Alright, pop the Magician in Strength. And uh, get this, get Rag Mega out of here. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Oh my god. Alright. Oh my lordy. We got PJs. That's pretty epic. I should have popped IV bag a trillion times before doing that though. Alright, secret room over here, please. Golden bombs. Sorry guys, but uh, I gotta go bomb every single corner looking for the super secret room. Oh, well, that was, that was awfully convenient, huh? Okay, give me shop refresh. Give me shop refresh. You know you want to. You know you want to give me shop refresh. No, I don't. I don't need those. I have a surplus of those. I don't. Come on, do it. Give me shop refresh. I hate you. I'm not even gonna take that. I'm not even gonna validate you. Fuck you. You know what? Fuck your temperance machine too. Fuck you. Asshole. Complete asshole. How did I not get an angel deal? I had a 100% chance. What the fuck? Alright, where are we going? Where's the boss room? Oh, it's, it's in the bottom right corner. Okay, that was that was perplexing. Can I reach that guy? Yeah. No. Okay. Well. Justice. Thank you. Okay. Up here we go. The charmed one tooth. Very epic. Thanks for the charmed one tooth. What are we looking at? Uh, battery. I have no use for batteries. Batteries? Ugh, where I come from, those don't exist. So, I'm just kind of traveling to each shop and then ruining everything. That's how I roll. The lovers, thank you. The stars, thank you. And we got sulfuric acid, very awesome. And what else? We got three uh, asshole babies, very awesome. I love asshole babies. I, I just walk over spikes now. Fuck. I, I'm, I am that powerful. I just say, oh, spikes? Uh, fuck spikes. And I just walk over them. I... I have infinite power. I don't... Okay. So... And then there's this other guy. He, he, he was even worse. Because... He... Okay, so there was the one... He was the he was cringe, right? But he was he was just a little a bit of a goofball. He was a, a okay. Steam, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, whatever. Fuck it. He was just a bit of a goofy fella. He was cringe, but I didn't really feel bad for him. I, I felt bad for him because he was so unself aware. Oh, there's fanny pack. Thank God for fanny pack. One cent. One. <laughs> One cent. Thanks. He was unself aware, but he didn't. He he was just. He, how do I how do I put this? How do I? Oh, we got Mr. Me. So there we go, Mr. Me. That's the that's the game. He was unself aware, yet at the same time he didn't seem. I need to start using this. He was unself aware yet he wasn't just completely a complete weirdo. He he seemed like the character he portrayed, not the actual person. I know the actual person wasn't like that because it was parody. I'll buy magic fingers just for it to never come back. The character he portrayed didn't make me think of somebody who was 100% cringe. It made me think of somebody who was just like half cringe. He you could hold an actual conversation with him. The, the, the other guy, the character he portrayed was just something else. It was, that's the kind of guy that you like, you look at and you just feel bad for. Also, we got backpack. Hell yeah, thank you for the backpack. Thank you, shop. This was the, the, the type of guy that you see and you just think like, oh my god. 
How, how does someone like this even come to exist? Also, mom's purse. Thank you. And it's just looking at him. The, 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 the stuff, like... He ba basically, I guess the way... The easiest way I can put it is that... The second guy... Took what the first guy did and just brought it to another level. A level that you couldn't even comprehend. And it, it just hurt. It hurt to watch. Just it, because it was... It was so accurate. Cringe is something that I can't I can't handle very well. If I am watching a TV show or something and I see cringe, I just uh, I just curl up into a little fetal position and just I'm unable to handle it. I I cannot handle cringe. So like if I'm watching something like if I'm watching like The Office has lots of cringe. That's the only thing on Netflix that I even watch. That's like I haven't I haven't finished The Office. And everybody knows The Office is, like, good, but you have the classic stereotype of completely basic people who watch, who just watch nothing but The Office. I'm taking Devil Deals. I have the key piece. It's all fine. It's, it's less like that for me and more like there's nothing else on Netflix that I like because everything else is just kind of shitty, which is why I preferred Hulu. Hulu had South Park. It had... Rick and Morty, it had, also, oh god, they talked about, do you watch Rick and Morty? Do you like Call Me Carson? That, oh, oh, that one really hurt. But, no, it had Rick and Morty, South Park, regular show, and I know, like, those are cartoons, but I don't like, I don't like fucking drama, I, and all that BS. I watch, I watch cartoon shows and TV shows and shit. I watch normal, if I'm watching normal TV, it's because I'm trying to watch it to laugh. I'm not trying to watch it for drama. That's why, that's what I watch anything for. Either, I, either that or I'm watching it to become enlightened. But if I'm watching it shit for enlightenment, I'll go watch like, philosophical videos and stuff. Or I'll just have philosophical discussion. I don't need, I don't need a video to have my philosophical discussion with. So, I mean... South Park does a little bit of both. It's hilarious as fuck and also gives you political commentary, societal commentary, phil philosophical discussion. It's the best of both worlds. But normally I'm just watching shit to laugh. Rick and Morty is... <laughs> Rick and Morty's fucking neither. It, it's it's a little bit funny. I just, I just watch that shit because like... Rick and Morty funny. Haha, <laughs> Pickle Rick. And it's just, you know... Whenever you're so close to those cringe characters, whenever you're basically on the... I'm, I'm basically on the verge of becoming a cringe. All I'd have to do is start referencing memes a lot more and drop my self-awareness down. And also, like... There's a few steps I could take to become cringe. If I did not keep the fact that I liked uh, that I like to watch YouTube... If I did not keep the fact that I like Rick and Morty and it, like all this other sh this shit that's overtly cringe, if I did not keep that to myself, I would be a cringe lord. I would be 100% cringe. And knowing that is just so uncomfortable for me. Knowing that I'm just a few mere steps away from being that band kid, it hurts. It really does hurt. And it, I'm terrified. Every day I'm terrified of becoming that band kid. I think to myself, oh god, is today the day? Is today the day that I become the cr- Oh, lead pencil, thank god. Thank god, everything's been saved. Again, I think it's today the day that I- I complete the transformation into the cringe band kid. I'm not even in the fucking band! I hate the band! But I- I've never been in band, it's just I hate the band because I hate the people who are in the band. I, okay, I don't hate the people. I've met some cool people in band, but most of the people in the bands at the schools that I've been to, I've been to one middle school and two high schools. Well, technically the middle, middle school and the high school were the same school, so whatever. But either way you put it, in all of those schools, the, the kids in band, they were atrocious. There were a few cool ones. There were a few, a few cool kids in the band, a few kids in the band that were actually pretty cool dudes. But most of them were, were not. <laughs> most of them made you feel physical pain 
just by being in the general vicinity of. And it, it wasn't fun. Okay, we got question mark card. That's uh, that's awesome. And I mean, it's just <sighs> being in any capacity, any tangential relation to that cringe hurts. And I mean, I don't think it's happened yet. I sure hope it hasn't. Most of the time, whenever I'm in school. I don't go up, I don't, I don't fucking talk to people. I talk to my friends, and that's about it. And I don't talk about memes. Talking about memes, I think, is the number one way to become that cringe band kid. I don't talk about that shit, mostly because meme, me, okay, memetic culture, this is a whole different subject. M memetic culture is really fucking something. <laughs> but the memes I like are, I don't like the, I, I, I thought T-posing was funny thanks to Radical Larry in um in scp but they patched the t-posing out i don't like i don't like those old fucking dead memes the memes i like are i'll uh, maybe i'll try and put one up on the screen of a, a meme i like they are ironic com they are completely ironic they usually have impact font and they make zero sense so that's not something i can't i can't go up to someone and be like haha p P pooping be like poop, 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 poop and I can't go up to someone and be like I think my parents are wrestling should I jo should I join in or no like I, like why would I do that or I mean I guess I I can take solace in the fact that I know that if I I'm, why like I, I, I can going up to someone and saying I'm pickle Rick wubble 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 dub dub is not a way to have a societal interaction or it's just interpersonal interaction. That's just not how you do it. <laughs> also, no hush, no hush fight again. I've been too busy min maxing. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, whatever. And oh god, I forgot I took chaos, didn't I? Uh oh, uh oh, I took chaos. Oh no, I took chaos. I just realized I could have gotten free double deals. That was a health item. I would have taken a devil deal for a health item. Whatever. Whatever. I'm about. To, I'm probably gonna die if I don't start playing how I was playing a second ago, where I uh, just kind of wait. Are you fucking kidding me? God, I forgot that on the womb you take double damage. All right, let me finish my thought. Uh, I feel like as long as I don't go up to people and start quoting memes, I'll be fine. I w and I won't become that cringe band kid. That's my final thought. Oh my God. I just killed myself. That was sad. And the run was going so well too. Well, that's it. That was just sad. See you guys next time where maybe I hopefully actually break the game. Who knows?